Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing another what's in my stash video and today we are going to be doing Valentine's Day. So I have three bins here that I need to film and open and share with you guys. I have some more stuff here and I have some more bins on the floor that I took out from their home that I also need to film. I have a total of five bins, guys, of Valentine's Day. That's a lot, especially it's because it's something that I don't often get to craft with because normally right after Christmas, I'm jumping into like Easter. Um, so I'm gonna try this year to get some Valentine's Day projects done, but this video might be split into two. I'm not sure. We'll see how long the first three boxes is and then we'll see from there. So. I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started so you guys can see what I have in my Valentine's Day bins. I could probably guarantee you guys that these bins are going to be a hot mess. They used to be organized uh, when I first organized my craft room two years ago um when i moved and they were organized at that point but you guys are gonna see that some of the labels no longer really match and things have snuck into the boxes because that's really all the space i had for them but here is the first box this one just says valentine's day so this one fits just fine but i'm saying like the other bins some of them are like more brand specific and they're not very brand specific anymore um, so here I have this collection. It is 24 sheets called Lovebirds from LDRS Creative. And it's a cute little Valentine's Day collection. A lot of reds going on in here. And I love the black. Um, so that's that one. And again, guys, I'm going to have whatever I can find linked down below in the description box in case you guys want to shop any of these collections. Make sure to check out the links down below. Um, I have some single sheets in here. Oh, okay. A lot of single sheets in here. This is from Authentique. Now, guys, you know I don't craft with Authentique brand. But these guys specifically don't look vintage -y, which is why I have them. I like cut aparts. So I have a couple of sheets of these. Um, and I'm just going to be using them for the cut aparts. I mean, I guess I could use it on the back side too. Like this paper for authentic brand does not look vintagey at all, which is what my idea of authentic is. Um, I have this one. I don't know. Is this a collection? No. Why do I have single sheets? I don't know. This is simple stories. My Valentine. This is more vintagey to me than that last one. <laughs> Um, but it's just cut apart. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, these go together. These three sheets go together. So I have three sheets of Simple Stories My Valentine. I have a cut apart sheet. This is the back side. I have this floral one. This is the back of that. And then I have this page. And this is the back of that. What am I going to do with just those three sheets? To be honest, I have no clue I don't know I don't even feel like they go together that well so who knows um I have some more random sheets let me flip this oh we got some more collections this is simple stories kissing booth um it looks like I have a bunch of sheets of this one also so I mean actually these are all different so this one I could definitely make something with it's more than three sheets this one you could make a nice album or folio with this one but I have four by four size cut aparts here this is the back I have this floral paper and the back plaid the XOXO hugs and kisses and this back plaid this rose floral paper and hearts on the back um, this one says my favorite human, PS I love you, me and you, true love, you make me smile, cutie pie, crazy in love, you have my heart, and a bunch of other lovey dovey phrases. And the back side has these hearts. Oh, this is a really pretty one. 
another floral page and then here's the back side this one's looking a little vintagey back here but this one that's all i have from the kissing booth collection i believe so that's one two three four five six sheets of paper that's half of a collection kit that is a really good amount to make some kind of a project with that i'm not sure about those other three sheets but um this one i could definitely do something with that and then i have this collection this one is called love story it's a small world and this is by prima guys i don't know if you know but i don't i don't i don't do prima um <laughs> i think i might have like a couple of things from prima but i didn't have the best experience when i was buying um from a company i guess that i don't know if they're they're part of prima or they design for prima um i don't i don't even know how to explain it and i don't want to like say who or whatever but or what company but i didn't have the best experience so i just i don't do prima um so here is like a vintagey paper and it just says paris on top backside has these hearts and i like the foiling on here there's this one, like a collage of stuff happening here. And this is the back. We've got some minty colors introduced in here also. There's this page. I like the foiling on this one. It's just like on the edge, but that looks really nice. And I don't really do vintage -y, so I don't know what I'm doing with this. And here's the back. Um, there's this collage paper and the back. And just so we're clear, guys, this is just like a what's in my stash video. I'm not going to be going through all the collections. I'm not opening up the collection kits. I will show you guys 6x6 paper pads because those are easy to flip through and any other 12x12 paper pads. But collection kits are just a pain in my butt and I'm not going to be taking them out of the packaging. I'm only showing you guys these ones because I only have a couple of sheets and I have them all paper clipped together. Um, so these are also easy to show you guys. But the collection kits, oh my gosh, anytime I try to like put them back in there... I always rip the bag or half the time I rip the bag and it's really frustrating. <laughs> I show it to you guys when I get the collections usually like I do a lot of haul videos when I get stuff and I show you guys in detail so you guys can flip through my channel but somebody commented on my last one like I wish you would show everything and I'm just like this is a what's in my stash not a flip through video. Um, so please if you want to see anything in detail I probably have it somewhere on my channel in a haul and a flip through. Um, so here's three by four size cut aparts, and here's the back of this. If you guys have any ideas of what I should make with this paper, please let me know. I would love to make something and be done with this in my stash. I do not want to look at it in my stash because again, I'm not I'm not a prima person. Um, here we have some ephemera from the Sweet Talk collection by Simple Stories. This is probably from, I want to say this is like from my local scrapbook store because this was $5 and it's got like a little tag. And then this one was $4 and this is the chipboard stickers. Why is the ephemera more than the chipboard? I don't know. Is that normally a thing? I'm just noticing that now. Um... Here is another, oh, this is super duper thick. Okay, I really liked this collection at one point. Um, I think, okay, here's what happened actually. I mean, I don't even know. I think maybe I have a flip through on this. But anyway, I saw somebody make a super cute Valentine's Day album with this collection. And then I had to have it. So I got it. I don't know what I'm going to make with this. Honestly, I don't know. Um, there's a lot of paper in here. There's 24 papers in 12 different designs, but 24 papers. So this is like a whole paper pad thick of paper. So what am I going to do with this? I don't know. Um, is this a paper pad? Actually, I think this is a paper pad. Why do I still have it in the packaging? Well, I don't know. But yeah, this is a paper pad. Okay, so I could show you guys this one. So I could do like a flip through. And this is made in India. It's it's cute. 
The papers are very cute, but I feel like I would need to make some kind of a story here. Um, and I don't know. I, I, okay. How do you guys feel about people in your paper? I personally am not a fan. Like, do people look like this? Because I don't know, like it's beautiful. The art is nice, but like realistically, I don't know. Like that's a really skinny leg right there. That arm is really, very really skinny. I don't know. I feel like if I made like an album with this, somebody wouldn't want to buy it just if it had that people in there. For that reason, I feel like they wouldn't want it. So if I do make something with this, I will probably use the rest of this page and just not that page in particular. And like, I don't know, people, you know, they get married and sometimes there's um, interracial couples and it's not always a boy and a girl and I don't know. I feel like I'd, people would be very limited if I had this in some kind of album that I'm selling it has to be a specific type of person that would want to get it because I don't know. Anyway, so I will probably make something with this, but without the people featured in the collection, like I'm not going to have them in um, my album, but otherwise it's just those two papers, uh, papers so I can easily work around it. Um, but yeah, this, this is a lot of paper for me to use. So I don't know when we will get to that. Um, oh, look, I have three more six by six paper pads from LDRS Creative called Lovebirds. I should probably do something with this. I remember Babe, I think like, I don't know, three or four years ago at this point, bought me these um, at some point. It was like in the beginning when I just started like still branching out and getting all these other things and babe saw those and got me those um okay here what is this a bunch of cut up parts this is good that i'm going through this because i honestly have no idea what's in here so uh i don't know cut up parts i love you a waffle a lot today i'm excited about everything I really wouldn't put that with the Valentine's Day collection. Follow your heart. Enjoy the good life. That looks more like summer to me. Why is this in here? No clue. Are those cherries next? No, those are hearts. Um, okay, we got random bits of ephemera and cut aparts. I think I got this in a swap. This is something I need more time than today, more time than this week, to go through and separate all that oh look I have another one okay this one looks maybe more like Valentine's Day but I'm seeing this cut apart okay you're my cup of tea I guess that could be cute um that is like a Valentine's Day thing okay I guess this one is Valentine's Day this is a really big ephemera that says smile that's ginormous um okay I don't remember what kind of swap I got this from but I'm sure I got it in a swap at some point okay so we have some of that I have my mind's eye heart eyes I hope there's a collection in here somewhere because this is a lot of um ephemera here it's cute though I think there was a doggy in these ones Maybe not this one in particular, but these like things, this ephemera, I could use with any collection. It's just red and pink. You could mix and match this with a lot of different collections. So even, whoa, sorry. Oh my gosh, I'm yawning. I'm tired. Um, even if it's not a specific collection to that, I could use that with other things. I have this sweet talk, more of the journal bits. I showed you guys this already. Um, see, this is what I mean. It's just like not organized anymore. This is my mind's eye with love. And this is what that looks like. Just more ephemera. This is, I think this is from Hobby Lobby. Yeah. Called the Vintage Valentine. Back when I used to just see things and buy whatever my heart desired because I needed to build up my stash. Now looking back, I'm never going to use half of this paper. 
so I probably should do another D stash or something, but like part of me thinks that I will use it at some point, you know? I just don't know how long it's gonna take me, but I, I don't know. If I keep buying, I'm never gonna use it all, but if I stop buying, which maybe should be a goal for 2024, um, stop buying paper and use up my stash, which I tried to do before, and I wouldn't let my buy, I wouldn't let myself buy a collection kit unless I used up three of something, like a paper pad or a collection kit or whatever. I had to use up three kind of paper things before I bought one collection kit. I did do that before, but even with that, it's kind of like I only used two and then I had a new one. And I don't know, maybe I should bump it up to use up five. And that will really push me to use up stuff. But then I'm also not going to be able to buy anything really throughout the whole entire year. Because five is a lot to get through. Okay. Um, my Mind's Eye with Love stickers. I have a couple of these books. I probably have this collection in here somewhere. Oh, there's pinks and uh, minty colors in here and reds. I have the ephemera. Oh, I just showed you guys that. Uh, okay, back to the sweet talk. Simple stories, puffy stickers. Puffy stickers are nice and small. They make great embellishments. Um, these things, like I said, I used to do these things in the thickers. I wouldn't buy them anymore. Um, but I do have some still in my stash. Oh, Bo Bunny! This noteworthy collection. So I actually used the Bo Bunny noteworthy in an album I made. It was a gi ginormous album and I used a 12 by 12 paper pad. And then I had scraps left over and then I made a traveler's like junk journal that I have a full on like four part tutorial on that, on how I made it from start to finish in case you guys want to check it out. But I will link whatever I made with this Bow Bunny collection down below also in case you guys are interested. But it looks like I still have some of like the ephemera here. I have six by eight paper pads and oh, miss you Tuesday morning. Though recently they opened up a Tuesday morning in Utah. So I'm hoping they're kind of coming back because they closed out literally all the stores and recently they opened one in Utah. Why Utah? I don't know because they literally have all the craft stores. They have all the warehouses and everything and they have all the craft stores. Why can't we get some elsewhere? But I'm hoping it'll come back. So anyway, I have two of these uh, six by eight from Bo Bunny. And this is more of a vintage -y collection, but guys, let me tell you, when I crafted with this, it turned out like absolutely stunning and gorgeous, especially the Traveler's Notebook Junk Journal I made. It's like my all-time favorite junk journal I've ever made. It was, it was beautiful. Um, I don't know how I got rid of it. I sold it, but maybe I should have kept it. It, it was just so beautiful. It was hard to part with, but I probably, I, it would just be sitting in my room. So speaking of that with love collection that I was saying I need, looks like I have five of the six by eight paper pads of the with love collection. And if you guys know, my mind's eye no longer sells paper. So at, at some point they were having a ton of sales on the my mind's eye paper and they were getting rid of it and they were selling bundles. And so I was just buying and buying and buying. And I think this might have been during like um, the pandemic or whatever. And I was just buying a bunch of stuff. All the stores were closed and I was buying online. And, you know, it was on sale. So then there's the Sweet Talk bits and pieces. So before I showed you guys like the journal bits, this is more of the ephemera now. And I realized, I say ephemera weird. I say like euphemera as if there were a you in front of it. And everybody else says ephemera. And I find that so weird to say. I can't say it. Like ephemera, it sounds so weird. I, I can't do it. It's going to be euphemera to me. So I hope you guys don't mind. Um, I have the Sweet Talk 6x8 paper pad that's not even opened. All right, let me open this up so I could do a little flip through like I said paper pads 
are easy for me to share with you guys and show you what's inside. So, Sweet Talk by Simple Stories. And I'm just going to be doing like a little flip through. It's not like a detailed flip through or anything. But this is cute. Aside from that, from the off-white colors that I really don't like because I hate off-white. Um, aside from that, it's cute. Like, I could still make something with that. It's still cute papers and everything. It's just not my favorite color because I don't like off-white. Ivory? No. Beige? No. I just, I can't do it. Um, I mean, I could craft with it. I just, I hate wearing it too. Um, it's just not, not, not a thing I like. Anyway... I have this envelope in here. It looks like I have some Valentine's Day other single sheets in here. I'm seeing some of these and I know I got these from um, a grab bag. I think from a cherry on top years ago. And oh my gosh, guys. I think, was it that one? Or no, maybe it was Peachy Cheap. Or maybe a cherry on top. I don't know. But those grab bags weren't so good. And I got like a ton of like random stuff. And I got like religious papers also. And I feel like that's very specific to a person. I don't know why they would include that in a grab bag. Because um, I feel like it's a very specific type of person that would want a religious paper. Or that would... I don't, I don't know. Okay, anyway. So there's a bunch of... Oh, I got some cut apart parts in here. Okay, I don't, I don't know. There's a bunch of random sheets in here that I cut into, obviously. This, I think, is from a paper pad. And this was, like, the last sheet that I didn't use. So I just put it in here. These are some single sheets. I think this is from a cherry on top. But it's from the brand Reminisce called Dream. And I think I put it in here because it looks like Valentine's Day. Though I could use the back side because it's just like a brick pattern. So I can use that for something else also. But there's that. I got a bunch of sheets of those. We got another Simple Stories My Valentine. Um, I got to organize this after I'm done sharing this with you guys. This one is a Dear Lizzie Fine and Dandy. And just cut apart. It's another random single sheet. This is just a heart paper. We got a glitter paper in here. More glitter paper. This is a, also from Reminisce. Valentine's Day themed. And yeah, like I said, let me just have like these large cut aparts. And this is from a paper pad um, that I used up to make some albums. And I just had some cut aparts kind of left over. So that I guess I just have in here because I don't like getting rid of these papers. Even though they don't go with the collection and I don't know how to use them. So yeah, I don't know. We'll use them at some point, right? Sometimes. You need one more sheet of paper. And then I that's, that's the time that I would dig through this stash. But I'm just going to like shove everything back in here. And I'm going to organize this after I'm done filming. Because that requires a lot of organization. And um, I might need the other bins to see what the other bins have to be able to organize this. How did this fit in here before? I have no clue. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like it's fitting now. Actually, this one was very, very stuffed. And this one was hard to get in and out of my storage unit. Um, okay, so that was bin number one, guys. And that's already a 23-minute video. Okay, so bin number two. This one was supposed to be Valentine's Day hot buys only. Meaning the Michaels paper pads. I'm already seeing some other single sheets in here. So this is no longer just a hop by bin like it started off with. So I have, okay, this collection here. This is Cardabella called My Valentine. I only have three sheets. So I have these four by six cut aparts. This is the back. This floral, the back make something cute with this and then this so I can make a cute little folio with that yeah we, we could we could work with that 
the other one that I showed you guys, the three sheets, like they don't really go together with me, um, for me. But this one, that one looks like I could work with it. So some of the cut parts I just shared with you guys that I had um, in that clear sleeve, they're actually from this paper collection called Be My Valentine. So you guys are going to see some of those cut parts here. Um, this is from Michael's. And I did use up a full 12 by 12 paper pad like this already. This is just another one I had in my stash. So yeah, some of those cut parts you guys just saw in that other bin. And it looks like I started cutting into this one already. I've got scraps and things. Um, so it looks like I'm already on this second one. Um, but I did use up one whole one already. So if you guys are looking for videos with this and what I made, search my channel. And guys, you can search people's YouTube channels. You just have to be on a desktop computer or use the desktop website on your phone. Don't go to the app. If you go to the desktop website and then you type in like somebody's uh, YouTube channel, like for mine, Carolina's Crafts, then on that main page, if you scroll all the way to the right at like the top, you'll see search and you could search videos on my channel specifically. So then if you type in Valentine or Valentine's Day, whatever it is, you'll find a bunch of videos that I have made for Valentine's Day. Um, so you can search. It's just, I don't know why they don't have that option available on the YouTube app. It bothers me, but the way around it is just to use like the desktop website. Um, I have this paper pad also. This one is called the Sweet Talk. This is not a favorite of mine, but again, back back in the day when Michael's paper pads were $5, I would get everything. But this is just a little bit too colorful for me. It's like, I I love the pinks and reds. I'm very traditional when it comes to these things. It's like Christmas, my favorite is red and green. Sometimes a little bit of pink, but I don't really like the pastels. Um... For Valentine's Day, the pink and the red is my cup of tea. I'm not a fan of the additional colors. I will craft with it. Other people like it, and I make a lot of the stuff to sell. Um, so I, that, this is why I also have a bunch of different kinds of paper collections, even if they're not my favorite. Um, and I guess in a way, that's also how I justify buying all these things that I don't love, especially if they're a good price. Um, here is the Valentine's Day paper pad, also from Michaels. This one is a cute one. And I love the red foiling in here. So this is what this one looks like. It doesn't look like I have used that one at all. Um, oh my gosh, Cupid and Co! Cupid and Co. This is, guys, my all-time favorite Valentine's Day collection. I am, I don't know why, but I am obsessed with this collection. I love it so dang much. Oh my gosh. I, like, I, I don't know what it is. I love it so, so, so much. Uh, when they first came out with this, I bought like one collection and then... I crafted with it and I loved it so much. I wanted to go buy more. It was hard to find. I couldn't find any. And then I think for Christmas, Babe at the time found some 6x6 paper pads and bought me a bunch. Um, maybe some collection kits too. I don't remember. But I love this collection. I don't know why. But it's like one of my favorites. For, oh, for Valentine's Day. That didn't work so well. I got to zoom in another way. Um, but I just love it so much. It's, I don't know. I just, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love the little trucks. I love all the flowers. I love the pinks and it's just so pretty. So that is Cupid and Co. If you guys can get your hands on it, get it. It's beautiful. Okay. Um, next I have these solids. These are from Be My Valentine some solid papers did i have that collection i can't remember again this is supposed to be a hot buys bin and i have a bunch of other stuff oh this one i have a second one so i just showed you guys that one i think yes i did 
So here's another one that I have that's not even opened and it's still got the seals on the side. Um, this one is called Love and Devotion. Maybe I should get rid of some of my paper pads because this is a double and I haven't even used the other one. I used up one of these. I had another and this is a third. Do I really need that? I mean, this is the thing. Sometimes Valentine's Day is so hard to come by of ones that I do actually love. So that's my struggle. But maybe I should get rid of the pastel ones that I don't love. Um, this one's called Love and Devotion by Recollections. What year is this from? 2018. So I think either I used up one of these as well or I just started using up this one because this is not a full paper pad so I can't remember if I used a whole one up or if, it, if it's just this one that I started using but yeah this is I would say maybe about halfway halfway done that paper pad so that's pretty good progress and then again we have another 12 by 12 paper pad of this one that hasn't even been touched or opened yet um so I'm gonna put everything back in here that was bin number two and yeah maybe I do have to get rid of some of these and do another little d stash I had did like a little Christmas d stash but maybe I should do if I have more a little bit of a Valentine's Day one so we'll see okay so let's get to bin number three and bin number three is looking good because the first thing I'm seeing is my favorite paper collection called Cupid and Poe. Oh my gosh, I have a 12 by 12. Yes. Okay, I love, love, love this. I did craft some stuff with this collection also, so you guys could check out my channel for that. Oh, look. Didn't I have a couple of sheets from the Cartabella My Valentine? Yes, I had three sheets in that last bin. I have a six by six, so I could use them both and make something with this but this is the rest of the papers so we could do something with that and even though those those papers I said I could do like a folio with that I could also combine it with this so that's great um this one is called sweetheart no cupid sweetheart by photo play and these are the papers you guys know I'm not opening up collection kits to share um but yeah, this is a cute one. I like this one also. Okay, this one, vintagey, yes. But this vintagey one, I love. Okay, I know it's got like the ivory, but for some reason, I also used this one and I just, I love how it turned out. Okay, anyway, this is called Yours Truly by Echo Park. From 2011. I'm pretty sure this is from... No. You know what? I think this might have been from one, like, warehouse mystery box at one point. Um, yeah, I think so. Because otherwise it would have had the sticker on it. So I think this might have been from, like, a warehouse mystery box. I've been buying those mystery boxes for a really long time. <laughs> um, so, yeah. There's uh, this one that I gotta use. So this one, I think I have a few of these because like I said, I used it once and then I had a hard time finding them and I would get my hands on it whenever I could and it just turned out really, really pretty. And that's really surprising coming from me because yes, this is more of, of a vintage collection that I don't normally do. But I don't know, this one was just gorgeous. And this one um, is from 2020 called Be Mine. And it's, it's beautiful. I love the pinks. I think that's what I like about this. There's no reds. It's just pinks. And I guess some of the ivory. But pink. I love it. Okay. There's this collection. This one is called Words of Love. Um, also by Echo Park. This one is from 2013. I've never used this one. But you can see this one's from Tuesday Morning. I have not yet used this collection at all. Ah, Cupid and Co. sticker sheet. Okay, uh, but I have Be My Valentine Ephemera. I said Ephemera. I tried really hard, um, but it still sounds weird. Um, but 
I think I shared something with this from this collection before, didn't I? No, now I, I don't know. Why is there a random rocket in here? Okay. I mean, I guess it goes with it. It says you're out of this world, but like, it doesn't really fit with the Valentine's Day vibe for me. Um, Cupid and Co. Oh, this is just a random sticker sheet. Okay. Oh, guys, this is another collection that I love by Echo Park. Okay, Cupid & Co. is my all-time favorite. But, like, this one, I also really love this one. So, this one is called Hello, Valentine. I'm pretty sure I use this one also. Okay, I think this is the following year after Cupid & Co. So, Cupid & Co., I think, was 2020. N no. Yeah, Cupid & Co. was 2020. This one was the following year in 2021. Hello, Valentine. Um, so this one was also a really, really pretty one and I like it. I think I really like the pinks with the reds and the blacks also. And even though this one is more of a peach, whereas Cupid and Co was more of a pink, this one is more of a peachy color, but still a very, very pretty collection. So I have that one and I have a bunch of other single sheets from that Hello Valentine collection. So I could go through these. So it looks like I have a couple of cut apart sheets. We've got this sheet. Oh, this one has cut aparts also. Got this one, the plaid and the envelopes. Envelopes, do you say envelopes or envelopes? I usually say envelopes. I don't know why I said envelopes. Um, stripes, four by four cut aparts. This pink background with hearts on the back. The wood green floral on the back, this plaid, and three by four cut aparts, this red background, and the postage stamp. So it looks like I have a bunch of extra from the Hello Valentine collection, and I got another collection kit. And guys, are you ready for this next part? Look at all the Cupid and Co. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five more of these. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And look, I have another one of these. I told you guys I love this. Oh, and I have another one. Guys, I told you I love it. I love it. When I love something, I got to have all of it <laughs> or a bunch of it at least. Um, so that when I use one, I still have another one, you know? So this, yeah, you guys could see I got from Tuesday morning. At that point, they raised the price. This was now $6.99, where you guys saw a previous one that was $5.99. But anyway, I got another one of those. I guess I have a single sheet probably left over, or I don't know from where. Um, and I got another one. Love it. And I have some of this collection. This one is a more and see this one now is now $5.99 so that must have been like a previous year um from the other ones but this one has a lot of like red colors and some kind of like minty blue in here or like a teal I guess so I haven't used this collection yet I don't remember what it looks like really here's the stickers on the back looking very vintagey um so who knows when I'll get to use that there's this random paper. Oh, this is from the Words of Love by Cardabella, which is going to come in handy because that's got the four by six cut aparts. And I got more Cupid & Co. I told you guys I love it. And I got a bunch of ephemera in here. I'm trying so hard to say ephemera. And I got another one. Look at this. And I got another one. I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. And I got another one. <laughs> this is terrible. Oh my God. And I got another one. Guys, I told you. I'm obsessed with this collection. Okay, then I have um, Photo Play Love Letters. Oh, this is another really, really beautiful one. Okay, I have a couple of these because I had already used one love this one also i didn't want to go too crazy like i did with the cupid and co but this is another really pretty one so yeah it looks like i have a couple of few different favorites from 
Valentine's Day collection. So Love Letters by Photoplay is gorgeous. You guys could search my channel for that one. Also, I did make something with that. Like I said, Cupid & Co. is gorgeous. How many did I have? One, two, three, four, five. And then I think we had six of the six by six paper pads. And I think we had another collection kit somewhere. Oh, look. Six. <laughs> we have a lot of it, okay? I should probably get to crafting. And then I have um, three of this one because I love that one also. Yeah, I got a lot. All right. Um, it looks like we're at 40 minutes. I'm going to keep going with the other bins i guess and we'll i guess we'll get closer to like an hour with this video so let me get those and clean this up all right guys here are my next two bins why did i bring both of these here i don't know we're only gonna show you one at a time but okay this next bin says valentine's day non-traditional and by that it's supposed to be non-traditional colors so first thing i'm seeing here is the my valentine collection by cartabella that i had a few sheets of before and i had a six by six pad in some other um bin oh i have two of these okay so yeah non-traditional colors because there's mint in here now maybe i would still consider this now still regular traditional no maybe not i don't know but i have a couple of these so yeah i have a lot more than just those three sheets that i thought i originally had apparently um, I have this photo play, Tula and Norbert's love story, definitely non-traditional colors with the darker uh, teals and light blues. So that's what that looks like. Um, I have the simple story sweet talk in here. There was a lot of that in that first bin, but more puffy stickers, more ephemera, more chipboard and a few sheets of um, the collection. So there's that. This one is non-traditional. I think I used one of these collection kits before. This one's called You and Me by Echo Park. It came out in 2018. But yeah, definitely non-traditional. It's got purples in here and mints and yellows. So there's that. Here's the back so you can see some more of the colors. Um, there's... Oh, I have some random puffy stickers. They're hearts and hugs and kisses kind of things from the Lucky Yes collection by Pink Paisley. And this you could use with any collection. More of the Hello Valentine, the 6x6 six six paper pad. Yes, I like this one. Also here, this one's open. So I could do like a flip through. Actually, I think I already showed you guys some single sheets that I had from this collection. So I have two more of those. I have these layered frames. This is from the Simple Stories, Simple Vintage, My Valentine collection. And this is what that looks like. I don't really use frames, so I'm going to have to make some kind of an effort to do that. Um, here's some chipboard that I have in my stash and some that I already used. I remember using some of this on a Mother's Day card, actually. And I know I have this in my Valentine's Day because it's from, I think it's from the Valentine's Day Bow Bunny collection from Sweet Clementine. Um, maybe that's not Valentine's Day. I don't know. But I use this on some Mother's Day cards, I'm pretty sure. Um, Kissing Booth Simple Stories. I had the paper for this, or some of the paper. And it looks like I have a cute little sticker book with eight sheets of stickers. Um, I have more of the Bow Bunny. Oh, this is from also some from the Sweet Clementine collection. Um, okay. And this is what that looks like. I guess I just associated some of the hearts with Valentine's Day. But now that I'm looking at this, I think this is more Mother's Day. Um, I don't know why I said it like that. But I'm just thinking like the florals, the butterflies around Mother's Day because that's what people normally use, right? For Mother's Day stuff. Um, I have some stickers here. I think these are from Dollar Tree at some point. And they're just hearts. 
So I could use that with whatever. Some of these baggies. I don't know why I have these in here, but some little treat bags, I guess because they're Valentine's Day themed. This is the Pink Paisley Lucky Us stickers, non-traditional colors again. Um, here I have just a single sheet. This is Cupid's Arrow from My Mind's Eye, and I just have the one sheet so I could just use the cut aparts. Another one of these You and Me collections. Might have to get rid of one of those. Um, photo play. This is Think to Remember. This would be good on some cards like Shut Up and Kiss Me. I'm so in love with you. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't have this collection. Oh my god, this one is so cute. Pebbles collection called Loves Me. And I have used some of this already. But look at it. It's so cute. I think Pebbles has really cute papers. And one of my favorite Christmas collections is by Pebbles. Oh, I, maybe I just have some single sheets. I remember using some of this. Oh, I guess I just stuck in some random sheets in here. I guess I haven't used it. I don't know. Oh, and then I have a bunch of the Lucky Us collection by Pink Paisley. I'm not even loving it. Oh, I think I did use some of this actually. But I have Ephemera. I have a 6 by 8 and it's just, it's pretty colorful. I did use this, I remember. Um, it's pretty colorful, guys. Not my favorite. I got some enamel dots. Thickers. I literally got the whole shebang. More thickers. Oh, some of the letter thickers. More stickers. Two of those. Um, and I have... I guess a collection kit, but I don't, it doesn't look like I have the whole thing. It looks like a part of one. So I guess I use some of it and I gotta, I gotta use the rest. So I don't have to keep holding on to that in my stash. This is from the You and Me collection that I showed you guys already. Um, I just have a random sticker sheet. Oh my God. It looks like I have two more of these. I definitely gotta get rid of some of those. Either in crafting or in a D stash, I don't know. And then I have this one, Tula and Norbert's Sweet as Honey collection. I'm pretty sure I used one already. I think this is my second, unless I'm just dreaming about dreaming about using it and remem remembering that Tiffany did use it. I don't know, but this is a cute collection. Non-traditional colors for sure. Um, it's more like a bee gnome theme, but it is also like a Valentine's Day. Theme. It's so cute. Um, I mean, you can use it for Valentine's Day. You don't have to, but I was thinking like Valentine's Day when I saw it. Or just like Lovey Debbie, which is what I think of for Valentine's Day. Um, so yeah, that was that. Let me put this away. And then I have some other things to show you guys that didn't fit into any of my bins that I also have. And you guys probably already saw some of them because I did do um, a video haul recently of some of those new ones that I'm about to show you. Um, but I also have more 6x6 six six to show you guys. Oh my god, I have a, why do I have so much of this collection? Oh, you know what it is? I think I got some in the Echo Park warehouse sales. I think that's what happened. Okay, so there's that. Oh wait, did he, I didn't even show you guys the other bin. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. I still have a whole other bin. All right, hold on. Before I get to that, because I was telling you guys about the other bits and bobs that don't fit in a bin, I have just some frames and tags from the Hello Valentine collection. And you guys saw I have a, a bit of the Hello Valentine collection so I could use those. Oh, look, I got three more of the Hello Valentine paper pad. I told you I love this one too. And then these two are new ones that I recently did a full detailed flip through on. So this is the Love Notes 
by Echo Park, which I love. And I did make a sequin mix for this collection, which you guys will see in an upcoming video because I um, will be releasing some more sequin mixes in my Etsy shop. So I'll make sure to show you guys um, what I have, but I did make one to match this collection specifically. And then I also got this new collection called Smitten by Photoplay. Um, and that's also in my haul video and there's a detailed flip through on that as well. So let me put these aside. And then here is the last bin that we're gonna go through the last of my Valentine's Day stuff. And, okay, hold on, let me show you because <laughs> like I said, everything is mixed up and they probably need new labels at this point. But this says, Crepe Paper Heart Day and La La Love. The first thing I'm seeing is not even crepe paper. This is from Me and My Big Ideas, um, a paper pad that I paid $5 for from Tuesday morning. And it looks like this. And I was thinking Valentine's Day when I saw this, which is why it's in here. Obviously, it doesn't have to be Valentine's Day, though. It's not very, like, super lovey-dovey or anything. So I don't know. Where would you guys put this? What would you categorize this as? Please let me know. Would you categorize this as Valentine's Day? Because the pinks and the reds. Would you categorize this as any time? Let's see. It says anything can happen here. That's not very Valentine's Day themed. Shine one day at a time. Not very Valentine's Day themed. Be brave. Maybe this should go in my other pile. Um, oh, you're awesome. Yeah. Why was I thinking Valentine's Day? Um, be happy every day. I don't know why I was thinking Valentine's Day. Oh, look, I have another one of these paper pads. Fourth one, I guess. Um, <laughs> I have these stickers and these are just a bunch of like phrases and I like these because they're not huge. Um, and these are actually really cute. And these are also from Tuesday morning when they had it, $2.19. Um, hugs and kisses, best friends, hello, love, cutie, pie, sweetheart, I love you. Like, these are cute, and they're not ginormous. So those are nice. Um, now we're getting into the, what is this, the La La Love, I think? Um, no, this is Heart Day. So I used some of these thickers. Some, not all. Um, this is, I think, La La Love, Yeah. And this one, La La Love, has um, some dark blues in it, some non-traditional, and some of the um, kind of mustard color. Back again when Tuesday morning existed. Um, La La Love stickers here. And a bunch of ephemera. I think I combined like four packs of ephemera into this one. I used some like bits and pieces. I remember using that cute little doggy. Oh my gosh, I love this collection for that dog and I wish they had more of him. Um, oh look, here's here's one right there. He's so cute, isn't he adorable? I love it. Um, and then I have this heart day, these, uh, um, these hearts that everybody was making at some point. You people would get the fringe scissors, everyone would make them, do some stitching and whatnot. So they're really cute and you could easily recreate them. Um, so there's that as a cute little embellishment. I have the six by eight from La La Love. We'll do a quick little flip through here. It's definitely non-traditional colors, but I was really into crepe paper at one point. Um, some extra cut aparts from one of the collections. Um, some cut aparts here. These are really thin cut aparts. Oh, this is another one of the crepe paper collections. I can't remember what it's called. I might have it, so hold on. Um, just more single sheets here. That's La La Love. La La Love again. This is not La La Love, and I don't know if this is Heart Day. No, this is Main Squeeze. This is main squeeze. Okay. Um, ooh, put that on the side. This is the La La Love. 
Again, I did play with this a little bit, but I do have a whole other full size one. Don't you guys miss those prices? $2.99 for the chipboard. Um, and here I have main squeeze. So I have a bunch of 12 by 12 sheets and I have two of the six by six paper pads. I'm not sure. I don't remember where I got these from, but somewhere. And then I have the heart day by crate paper. And this one was a really cute collection also, but yeah. So I have a bunch of Valentine's day stuff. Some definitely some older collections that are, you know, non non-existent nowadays. Like um, main squeeze is from, does it have a year on there? 2017. Um, and hold on. La la love. That one doesn't say, I don't know if these ones say, I feel like I would need a six by six pad or something. Cause I don't think they'll say anything. But yeah, I definitely have a lot of Valentine's Day, so I hope I could get to some more crafting. Please let me know, where would you categorize this paper pad? Um, or maybe this is just one that I add to my D-stash. I don't know. Um, let me know what you guys think. What is your favorite collection? Did I go crazy with the Cupid & Co? And where would you categorize that one? Thank you very much. All right, guys, so... That is it for my what's in my Valentine's Day stash video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Make sure to stay tuned and we'll be doing, I think, what comes next? St. Patrick's Day and then I think Easter and spring. So stay tuned. If you guys want to see any of the other previous videos that I already did, started starting from summer. So I did summer, Halloween, fall, um, Christmas, and winter already. I will have that playlist linked down below so you guys could check that out. Um, but yeah, now we just added the Valentine's Day one to that. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next crafty video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.